How strong is Satoru Gojo? Ever since the anime dropped, we've been seeing that Gojo can be Naruto, Goku, f everybody. Now, he's definitely the strongest in his verse, as far as we know. I don't know, maybe a full powered Sukuna could step with him. But Gojo has amazing abilities, so I understand why the comparison. So let's take a look at this cocky bastard. <laughs> also, there will be minor spoilers. You've been warned. Powers and abilities. We all know Gojo's a special grade sorcerer, but I think we need to get a grasp on how special Gojo actually is. Hand to hand combat. Gojo is a master when it comes to hand to hand combat. In his battle versus Lava Man, he was able to serve him lunch and then and eat it. This battle not only displayed his physical strength, but it also showed his immense speed and reflexes. The man moves faster than the eye can perceive. He was able to dispatch a thousand transfigured humans within five minutes. Dude's crazy fast, but let's get to the meat and potatoes. Jujitsu. Another reason why Gojo is known as the strongest sorcerer is because of the immense amount of cursed energy he possesses. Dude can perform multiple domain expansions in one day, while most people can only do it once. And while we're on the subject, unlimited void. This is the name of Gojo's domain expansion. Not only is the name cool, but it does some cool shit. It creates a metaphysical space that causes the victim to receive endless stimuli slash information, uh, restraining their thoughts and their actions so they can't freaking move. He also has a technique called curtain. It can seal an area off from all people or just a specific person. So it's a, your basic, you know, barrier. The man's a cheat code. Limitless. Limitless is an innate technique which is derived from Gojo's family. The technique grants the user absolute control over the space through cursed energy manipulation at an atomic level. Infinity. This abilities nuts basically when someone tries to attack gojo the man could divide the space between the attacker and himself infinitely making it impossible for him to touch him hit him whatever and this is just his neutral form of limitless curse technique blue this technique is when gojo amplifies his limitless and his negative energy creating a vacuum gojo creates a scenario where the world itself is forced to correct itself and fill in a negative space causing all matter in the range of the commanded space to be pulled together he also has a super version of this it's like a black hole. OP, bro. Curse technique. Reversal red. This technique is the opposite of blue. It repels all matter in its vicinity, like an almighty push type of shit. Fake ass almighty push. The ability has two times the destructive force that blue can output, so that's something. Hollow technique. Purple. This technique is when Gojo combines red and blue. Basically, it deletes slash erases all matter in its path instantaneously. Six eyes. Not much is known about the six eyes. We know it's Gojo's family, KK Genkai, and that the eyes reduce his cursed energy consumption. It's also heavily implied that the six eyes allows for a user to perceive the world in terms of mass, speed, energy as well. The man's a cheat code. Like I said, he's the strongest in his verse. They had to seal him to stop him. But I don't think he can stick with the lights of Goku. It's just a different level. Dude's a universal threat. But if you disagree, let me know down below. Also, subscribe to the YouTube channel for exclusive content. Let me know who you want me to do next. Peace.